How's it going everyone, Rosalyn here. If you've seen my video on everything to know about Trails into Reverie, then you'll know that there are some characters in the game that you get access to in a semi-random manner. Specifically, they are available from a gotcha system inside the Reverie Corridor. Well today, I'm going to be going over exactly when each character is added to the pool of possible characters to acquire, and how you can guarantee you get access to the ones you want as early as possible, with a little help from saves coming. If you are curious as to why you may want specific characters earlier, even if they can't be used throughout the main story, that would be because you do get access to their Master Quartz and Brave Orders, both of which you can make use of throughout the main story. So if you want to know what each Reverie Corridor character's Master Quartz and Brave Orders are, be sure to check out my video showcasing them linked in the video description below. But for now, let's go over when and how you can get every character from the Reverie Corridor. As you progress through the story of Trails into Reverie, you'll gain access to the Reverie Corridor. At first, you can only access the main area and the first area of the dungeon portion of the corridor, but as you progress further through the game, areas 2 through 4 of the dungeon will also unlock. And once you finish the main story, areas 5 through 8 of the main dungeon will become available as well. Each area has a set number of gold, blue, and red orbs that can drop from rare enemies, special strong enemies that give off a warning or EX warning whenever you approach them, and area bosses. And it's these colored orbs that contain characters, minigames, and story events, with red containing minigames, blue containing story events, and gold containing characters. Now I'll be focusing on characters and gold orbs for this video, but everything I say about them also applies to the red and blue orbs as well. So there are a few things you do need to understand about these orbs. First, there are exactly enough orbs to get everything. 10 characters can be obtained in the Reverie Corridor, and there are a total of 10 gold orbs. So you don't need to worry about getting Xenoblade 2 uh, Like me. Cressidus has still yet to come home despite close to over 400 total hours of playtime. Second, of those 10 characters, you can only get 5 of them throughout the course of the main story, with the remaining 5 being post-game. Specifically speaking, you get one gold orb from Area 1, one more gold orb from Area 2, another gold orb from Area 3, and two gold orbs from Area 4. The remaining five gold orbs will start dropping in all areas after you complete the main story. Third, which characters are available to be obtained from gold orbs is based on your progress through the Reverie Corridor. When you first gain access to the corridor, Alfin, Angelica, and Roselia will be in the character pool. Upon gaining access to Area 2, George, Toval, and Victor will also be added to that pool as well. And finally, upon reaching Area 3, Olivier and Sherazard are added, Vita is added, and also Aurelia is added. The tenth and final character will be added upon completing the main story and starting the post-game. Fourth, you can see how many orbs you have left to acquire both overall and in a given area of the Reverie Corridor by opening up the fast travel menu and looking at the lower right-hand corner of the screen. And finally, what character will appear from a gold orb is determined as soon as the orb is looted from an enemy and not when you actually go to pull the character. So with this knowledge and a little help from save scumming, we can aim for specific characters. As an example, let's use Toval, seen as his Master Quartz is one of the best for casters. Let us also assume for this example that after getting our gold orb from Area 1, we went ahead and used it and got Roselia. With this example, there would be 5 possible characters to get with the gold orb from Area 2. Alfin, Angelica, George, Toval, and Victor. Roselia would not be included since we already have her. Now because we know that the character an orb will be is determined at the time the orb drops, what we want to do is make a save right beside a rare enemy. After that, kill the enemy and see if it drops a gold orb. If it doesn't, reload and try again. If a gold orb does drop, immediately go to the gotcha machine in the main area of the Reverie Corridor without saving and use the orb. If the character you're looking for appears, in our case of this example that would be Toval, then great, save your game and you're good. If someone else appears, reload the save you made beside the rare enemy and repeat until you get who you want, and that's it. Just substitute Toval for whoever it is you're trying to get. And that'll do it for this video on how to get every single character in the Reverie Corridor. If you found this video helpful and informative, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you have any questions about this video, Trails into Reverie, or any other game that I cover, feel free to hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslingaming, or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description below. Until next time, take care.